This car was scanned at an auto parts store where they told us the alternator was bad and needed to be replaced. So we had just gotten done replacing the alternator on this car. Upon testing, we found that the baseline voltage of the battery was 12.5 with the car off. And when we turned the car on, we noticed that the voltage only went up about 0.4 volts to 12.9. At that point, we decided to do a voltage drop test. I know what you're thinking. It's a little late to do that. But at this point, we're already an alternator deep and we've got to figure out what's wrong with this car. So the first thing I'm going to do is check the wiring and the connectors between the alternator and the battery. So I hook the voltmeter red cable to the positive of the battery and I plug the voltmeter black cable into the power output of the alternator and it will determine the voltage differential between the output of the alternator and the voltage at the location of the battery. And as we can see, there's negligible voltage difference indicating that the wiring and connectors is all good. So the next thing we do is check for any voltage differential in the grounding system between the engine and the car frame. So we hook up the voltmeter's positive cable to the negative side of the battery and we touch the voltmeter's negative cable to the casing on the alternator and as we can see it's a pretty significant voltage drop of about one and a half. Needless to say this was extremely frustrating but luckily we had worked on the grounding cable and we noticed that there was some paint and oxidation between the connection and that became immediately suspect. So we grabbed some sandpaper and we just basically went to town sanding the paint off from between the connection and we also sanded the oxidation on the connector side. The objective was just to get raw metal to touch raw metal and to verify that that was the cause of voltage drop. Once we were satisfied that both sides of the connection were good and clean, we just went ahead and hooked the wire back up. Immediately after we started the car up, we saw that the voltage spiked to over 14, but at that point we wanted to run the voltage check, just out of curiosity. We wired up the positive side of the voltmeter to the negative side of the battery and touched the negative side of the voltmeter to the casing. At that point we verified that there was pretty much zero drop of voltage, indicating we had fixed the problem. 